Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Last week I posted a YouTube video on travel tips to keep in mind while traveling to the United States. So I decided, why not continue with the travel theme and for this week's video, I'm going to tell you about a few resources that I personally use on how to book some of the cheapest flight tickets, not just while traveling to the United States, but anywhere in the world. So let's get started. Before we get started with the actual video, I just wanted to give you a few tips that you should keep in mind while looking for these flights or just booking these flights because this will help you save a little bit of extra money and also at the same time add to your convenience later on when you're traveling. And the first tip that I have is regarding layovers. So if you're having a layover, make sure the layover times are at least two to three hours because there are a lot of moving factors that go while you're having a layover at an airport such as you have to clear the security, get to immigration, your flight has to land, find a jet bridge and then you have to board 25 minutes before the takeoff time of your next flight. So yeah, there are a lot of moving factors out there and if your layover time is say an hour or a little bit above an hour, it is almost impossible for you to make your next connecting flight. So just to be on the safer side of things, make sure your layover times for whichever flight for how many layovers you're taking is at least two to three hours. So that's number one. Also, if you are having a layover here in the United States, and I'm guessing that's going to be a first point of entry where you'll be doing your immigration, make sure the layover time is four to five hours. Now, why I'm saying this is because immigration queues here in the United States are really, really long. And also, once you clear immigration, you'll have to collect your bag, check them in again. You might have to go to a different terminal for that. And then you'll have to again clear TSA. And that is again a very big chaotic process here in the US because literally everyone uses air travel. So yeah, it's gonna take a lot of time. So I would just suggest keep like three hours of layover time for that so that you don't miss your connecting flight because trust me, missing connecting flights is a totally complicated process and then it's really really tough to get a new one so that's about layovers the second tip i think is more of a generally well-known fact and that is that you should try to fly out on tuesdays and wednesdays rather than on the weekends because that's when a lot of people like to travel and airlines will usually offer higher fares on those days my number three tip is always to search for flights in incognito mode that way airline websites cannot track your past activity and if they part track your bus activity and they see that you're searching for flights earlier then they might show you a little bit of higher prices so just to be on the safe side of things use incognito mode also don't keep on reloading these flight websites because they have an algorithm whereby if you keep on reloading them then you will see a short but steady increase in price over time and your tickets might get expensive so if at any point say you get logged out then try to shut the entire browser down and then log into the website again you will see a cheaper price rather than reloading the website the next thing that i have for you is always look for student discounts at the airlines that you want to fly now i'm going to make a complete different video on which airlines are the more reliable ones more trusted ones and the ones that offer a good student discount next week so yeah subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for that and my very last tip for you is being using vpn now i know this is something not everyone might have but if you have access to vpn you might be able to switch your service to another country and that country might actually have cheaper air travel fares so yeah just something to keep in mind if you have access to vpn make sure you use it because you might be able to score cheaper air fares that way okay now with the tips out of the way let's talk about the resources that i use and i just wanted to put it out there that not one of these websites standalone will give you the cheapest price for a particular desktop out there you might have to look at all of the options that these websites offer and then you might be able to reach a conclusion which is the cheapest and the best option out there for you so just wanted to clarify out there so that none of you think that one of these websites will always give you the cheapest price out there now the first website that I used for booking my flights is Google flights now a lot of you might have heard about it seen it or even used it but not a lot of you might have used it to its full potential so actually let me show you how to use Google Flights to the best of its capabilities. 
okay so say i want a book of flight from mumbai which is my home city and it's gonna be a one-way journey of course and then i want to go to new york jfk because that's one of the popular destinations where a lot of students go my travel date is gonna be say the 10th of august because that's when a lot of students come to the us for the first time so see i have already got some search results out there now these best flights options that google flights will show you are the best in terms of the price available out there for you and also in terms of the time taken from the point of origin to your final destination so these are the best options available for you in terms of price and, uh, and time taken there are other options available over here downstairs as well but I wouldn't really rely on them because it means that I have more than two stops so a lot of transits available and the flight times you can see it almost takes two hours worth of journey to get from your to your final destination so I would definitely not recommend these airlines out here on the below so definitely go for the ones on the top but now now let's look at uh, the, some of the features that Google Flights offers. So the first one is date grid. So if you are looking to fly out in a particular week, you can see what is the cheapest price available in that entire week. So like in this case, Tuesday, like I said earlier, is one of the cheapest days to fly. And so your Tuesday, August 9th is the cheapest day. I'm actually going to switch over my dates over here and i can still see saudi arabian airlines is the cheapest option available at 554 dollars now you also have something called as a price graph over here whereby you can see the price of that same ticket over different uh, times say you can you have to fly out you can fly out the first week of september and you can do a one month online uh, you can see what are the prices of flying the first week of September and if it's much cheaper like you can see this one is just $494 to fly out on the 6th of September that's the first week you can go ahead and book that so that possibility is also available but we're not going to do that over here but just to mention there are also a few more filters available up top over here out there which will tell which can gives you so like when do you want to leave and arrive or how many bags you're going to carry the airlines say you don't like a particular airline say air india so it will not show you air india now so all of that is available and it also has something called as a track feature which is my favorite so if prices go up or down anytime you will get an email on in your account saying that prices are down so you can book then but now let me show you how to book one of these flights so this is the cheapest one out there so some few things that you need to look first is the, of course the flight times so it says the first flight is almost 4 hours 15 minutes not bad then it tells me my layover in Riyadh is almost a day so it's 19 hours 25 minutes which is completely ridiculous so I don't think so I'll go for this flight and then the next uh, flight I'll have is almost a day later and that one is straight to JFK so that's good but this layover out here is kind of something that bumps me out but let's look at the next option we have available and that is uh, Egypt Air so my first flight is directly from Mumbai to Cairo that's not bad and after that I have a 3 hours 35 minutes layover in Cairo that's also pretty decent enough time to get through and then I have a straight flight from Cairo to JFK so it looks like Egypt Air is the best option available out there but to be honest Egypt Air is not that much of a reputed airline and it might be a hassle flying them and you might not have the best experience on board but Saudi Arabian Airlines has a good reputation in that sense but the only thing that bumps me out is the layover so in my case what I would do is that I would book for like a transit hotel for that 19 hour layover and transit hotels are not really that expensive at max it will cost like $100 but if you had $100 to this ticket price it is still cheaper than this Egypt Air flight so you are definitely saving money if you are booking this ticket as well so say you decide to go with the transit transit hotel and you book this uh, Saudi Arabian Airlines flight now it will take you to all the websites that you can book this flight on so this is the website that is offering the cheapest flight right now that is book with Bravo fly book with uh, kiwi.com offers you 553 and then if you book with ease my trip then it, you have to pay a little bit more so say I want to go with the cheapest option available out there and I select this one it will open in a new browser it will take me to my trip out there 
so I'm gonna let it load for a second and then it's gonna ask me for a few more details out there so there's like a classic package and a flexible package whereby if you are in the flexible package it will charge you a little bit extra but then you get free date change free changes after booking and some priority assistance but if you want to save money you can just go with the classic but just so you know there are risks associated with that so just make sure like your date and times are like confirmed and then you click on go classic which will open in another tab now it doesn't really work on mine because uh, i am like right here okay it works and here you can go and complete your booking out there so yeah so that's how google flight uh work so it will take you to the website so or where you can complete your booking so that's how you're gonna complete a booking with google flights number two sky scanner now if you think google flights is cool then sky scanner is google flights on steroids now sky scanner does the exact same thing as google flights such as the internet for the cheapest airfares out there but it does one better than google flights actually let me show you this again okay so we're going to take the same example for like from google flights that is a one-way trip and our origin is going to be mumbai and we're going to be going to jfk now oh, we'll be departing on the 10th of august and the same other configurations and then we search for flights now this is how uh, sky scanner is laid out so there are three tabs over here at the top so the first one is going to show you the best option available that is the cheapest price and also the fastest way of getting you from point a to point b and that you see is 865 dollars the second one it's going to show you is the cheapest option available out there and the third one is going to show you the fastest option available out there so you can actually choose which one you want so say i want to go for the cheapest option out there on that particular date i go and it will show show me all the cheapest options out there and again the cheapest option out there is saudi arabian airlines for 544 dollars but this one like you can see the journey is almost 41 hours if you want to know more about the journey you can click on it and you will see right down over here it's the same from mumbai to cheddar this time and then from cheddar to new york jfk and there's almost 24 hours worth of travel uh, wait time in the airport now if you want to go below you will see all the websites that offer uh, prices for this trip so travel genio is the cheapest at 544 dollars and travel to b is uh, the, again the next cheapest at 548 so yeah there are a bunch of websites available that you can choose from but we're gonna go back and let's say we don't really care about like the cheapest and we're gonna go search the original one that is the best out there now this one is just sponsored from emirates so just leave that out but if you look at the next best option after the cheapest that's this one that's British Airways from uh, Mumbai Mumbai to London Heathrow that's pretty good then you've got a connecting time of an hour 30 now I'm a little bit skeptical about here because if the flight gets delayed or something like that there's a good chance I might miss my connection because an R25 is a little bit of I can make it and I can't make it but the good thing is since both the flights are operated by British Airways if, if I miss my flight over here they will put me in a hotel or they will rebook me on my next flight so always look out for that make sure both your airlines are the same and then my next flight is from London to JFK so that's pretty neat and if you go downstairs you will look there are the same options available there is travel genie or travel to be so you can choose whichever fare you want it will take you to the website just like google flights but yeah that is it so you get to choose from which options you want and then you can again filter like google flights say the first one the first two stops uh then you can also choose which airlines all of that options are like available out here so you are eco-friendly then you will see that etihad airways 
transport has the least carbon emissions on the same road so yeah there are a bunch of options available out there as well and it can also give you price alerts just like google flights so sky scanner is basically the same as google flights but it'll give you a little bit of more variety like we didn't see this british airways option available from mumbai to jfk via london which is 865 is not a really really bad price and you're getting there in less than 20 hours so that's really really good so if you have that option available i would take it i would take the risk but say if you have options like these the multiple airlines that is fin air and then north atlantic airlines which i've never heard of so you are gonna go from mumbai to helsinki there you have a two-hour connect in the airport then from helsinki you're gonna go to oslo and then from oslo you can go to jfk on some north atlantic airlines i'm not sure what that is so i wouldn't really take the risk since if i'm especially traveling the first time and it also and if you ever see this notice about self-transfer it means that one in one of the airports you will have to transfer your bags to your next flight on your own now if you are an indian citizen that's not going to be possible because you won't be allowed to step outside the airport unless you have a transit visa so that is something to keep in mind out here so just be aware of the self transfers i wouldn't really recommend doing a self transfer ever just go for airlines uh, that have the same airline throughout the entire itinerary or at least if they have like partnership and agreements out there so yeah that is something to keep in mind but yeah that's pretty much sky scanner and how it is used very similar to google flights but a few more options and a little bit more cheaper in terms of price okay, the third resource that i have for you is student universe now this website is specifically made for students which means most of the prizes that you will find are directly negotiated with the airlines it is tough to find these prizes anywhere else however the biggest downside to this is that they just have agreements and partnerships with this few certain airlines they don't have them with like all the major airlines out there so you will find their selection kind of restricted and limited but they are pretty good airlines out there as well and you can also book other things such as hotels rental cars all of that on this website as well so it is definitely not as good as the likes of say skyscanner or google flights but it definitely has some deals out there that you might want to check out and it is another resource that is available for you to book flights and the fourth and the final one that i have is this app called as hopper now i just recently started using this app especially for booking like domestic flights within the us but then i searched up international flights recently and they are available as well for a really really cheap price as cheap as the ones found on skyscanner now the only thing that i am not sure about is that if this app is available in all countries outside the united states i'm not even sure if this is available in india but if it is then make sure that you use this because they definitely have some good flight options out there and which are very very cheap that you can use and another thing to keep in mind is that they do flash sales all the time at least once a month and that is when the flights are like dirt cheap prices available so keep an eye out for that and if you have access to this app definitely consider looking for flights on this one as well so yeah those were all the resources that i used to book my flights to anywhere that i might be traveling and i will link them all down in the description below so that you can access them whenever you want and i hope they come in handy to booking your next flight to anywhere you might be traveling but if you are looking for guidance a little bit more on which airlines to fly i am making a video on that coming next week so yeah subscribe to the channel for that and if you gain any value from this video please hit that like button because it really really helps the channel but once again thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one bye